In this demonstration, we're going to look at creating a database availability group in Exchange Server 2016. First thing we're going to do here is we're just going to pre-stage the computer account that will be used for the database availability group. So I've come onto my domain controller, I've come into Active Directory Users and Computers, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come to the computer's container, and within the computer's container, I'm just going to create a new object. I'm going to create that for a computer. Now I'm going to call mine DAG1. So we'll select OK at this point here. We just need to modify some of the properties on DAG1. So we'll just right click and come to properties. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the security tab. And what you'll notice here is there is no security tab. And that's because an Active Directory users and computers, in order to see the security tab, what we have to do is we just have to enable the advanced features. So we'll enable the advanced features, we'll go back to the computer account, go back to DAG1, right click properties. And what you'll notice here now is we now have the security tab. And we want to add our Exchange Trusted Subsystem. So we'll select that. Then what we'll do is we'll just search through for the object. And we'll select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll select that again and we want to add in LON EX1. And we'll also select add. Next thing we need to do here is just assign some permissions to those objects. And we're going to give full control to both those objects. So we'll go for LON EX1 and just allow full control. And we'll apply. And then we'll find our Exchange Trusted Subsystem. We'll do exactly the same thing is we'll allow full control and then select apply. We'll select OK. And finally, what we'll do is we'll just disable the account. So what we've now done is we have now pre-staged the computer account that we're going to use for the Exchange DAG. So the next thing we'll do is we'll move over to our Exchange Admin Center. Within our Exchange Admin Center, what we're going to do now is we're now going to create our DAG. So in order to do that, we just need to come to our Service tab. We then go to our Database Availability Groups. And what we want to do here is create a new database availability group. That then brings us into wizard. So what we're going to do here is we'll just fill out the wizard. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to call mine DAG1. My witness server for my file share witness will be lon DC1. Witness directory is going to be C colon backslash FSW DAG1. And the IP address I'm going to use for this database availability group will be 172.16.0.33. So this is going to be the cluster IP address. Next thing to do is select save. So the next thing to do now is actually manage our DAG membership. So to do that, we'll just click on the icon to allow us to manage our DAG membership. And what we want to do here is we want to start adding in our servers. So I've added in lon-ex1 and lon-ex2, and now we'll select save. As you can see, it's now saving off the config. So what we'll do is we'll just pause the demonstration at this point, because this could take a little while, and return back once this operation is complete. So those it's now completed creating the cluster and creating the DAG, so we'll just select close. And now that we have our database availability group, the next thing we need to do is we now need to add a database to our database availability group. So we'll highlight databases. And the database we're going to add is going to be mailbox database one. So we'll highlight mailbox database one. And we'll click our more button. And what we'll do is we'll add a database copy. We'll browse through. And all we'll do at this point here is just specify lon ex 2 Click OK. We're happy with the active activation preference number. So then we'll select save. And that'll now add that copy to lon ex 2 and this may take a little while, so we'll just pause the video and return back once the operation is complete. Okay, so the operation is complete, so we'll select close. And what we've now done is we've now added Mailbox Database 1 to LON EX2. So as we can see down here now, Mailbox Database 1, LON EX2, Passive Healthy. So the active copy is on LON EX1, Passive copy is on EX2, and that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.